Kick it up and down, yeah, arpeggio. Then you got a walking bass. Make sure it's on the lower. No, they don't have to play the top note. Students tend to add in that note. Stop. Don't, don't go over that, yeah? Because that's where you jump. And now, the other thing with the chords pattern, a lot of students, when they play, they tend to play like that, so sluggishly. Whenever you jump, it's a Chopin music, yeah? yeah? Or whatever jump. Your jump has to be very shift. So your fingers have to be there before you play the notes. My teacher used to say, if your fingers is there before you play the notes, you shouldn't play any wrong notes. I ever remember that so much. So I'm going to get my finger ready. And I'm going to shift very fast, move into the chord. D7 chord. D7, yeah? So I don't play the F sharp. So I shift up and then, then I play. Then I'm going to go back to the D again. I swing. One, two, three. Let me I'm going to go to C7. Very important to understand uh, seven chord in the jazz music. You got a C chord, normally or tab, let's say a page. There's a seven, a ton lower, yeah? Then if I have a G, a page, there's my G seven. If I have a D, a page, go down a ton, that's my D seven. That's why you got, yeah? From here. C7 again walking bass here D7 4 D7 is D F sharp A C sometimes you play D A C sometimes you play D F sharp C sometimes you play the full first one we play that second one we play that one so we yeah then we got that G then we got a boogie rhythm yeah, typical on a G. Yeah, then I got four, three, two, one. I squeeze that hell. All chromatic. Then I'm gonna go down octave. I come back. So G, I go to my dominant to the D. Yeah, so then you swing that rhythm. One, two, three, four. You do exactly on a C. Again, that chromatic. Four, three, two, one. Yeah, so next one you walk in a tap, then you swing. Ah, you do the boogie rhythm again. This one you do the same, but this time you're not going to you're not going to do on the E, but you're going to E flat. Change your note into E flat. So first one, second one. Yeah, so you change to E flat. First one again. Second one. Then you uh so from here, second one. Finish on G, then you gotta walk in best. Oh this time you gotta go down. So then you go up again, you make up your mind, oh no, I gotta go back. Ah my D7 coming. Then I go down. Because I go down to C. Ah I come back to my C7. I go my A flat. Go down semitone, fifth, then I repeat. So if you can memorize your left hand, it's a lot easier on the right hand. Then I just do a little bit separate on the right hand. Now right hand swing. First one. Now when you play this part, a lot of students tend to play. Oh gosh, can't even hear any note clearly. Yeah? No rush. This one's second last chord has to be stronger. That should be the B natural should be the stronger beat. And then strong. Strong. You got two strong chords. Same. This time I'm gonna go to B flat. And then next one again. They are gonna jump up. Yeah, chromatic. They are gonna do. They are gonna move down one step. Again. So I'm gonna swing that rhythm. Triplet, don't swing. Even, yeah? Don't swing on the crochet, but you swing on the quaver again. Don't swing on the crochet. So get that rhythm correct. Two, three, four. Same again. One, two. Every chord has to be 
and strong, yeah? And most of the time, cannot hear the A. Make sure all the notes can be heard. Again, you don't swing on the tree fret. All the students, they tend to miss an E flat. E flat. 10 out, 10 miss it. Then triplet. Don't swing. Then right hand. F sharp, then miss the F sharp again. Swing on the rhythm, yeah? And then go down. Swing on the rhythm. Then back to the same chord before, yeah? Again, now you go back to A sharp. Instead of that. Yeah, A sharp. Now make sure that you change to 2, 3, 2. Because that's a typical fingering that needed. I hold it, then I straight away. While holding that 3, I string my fingers, squeeze my fingers so that I can have my 2. 2 on the D, yeah? So I can sustain. Ah, I hold that chord strong. Then E, B flat, another chord. Then go back to B, naturally. Yeah? Then triplet. Don't swing, but swing on the quiver. Hook on A, delay a little bit, then go into 3, 4. Then you got a 7 again, 4 of 7 in the jazz music, yeah? A minor 7, yeah, then uh, always the jazz music.